Okay, so I need some opinions on something, please. So how many days or hours does it take for someone to officially be ghosting you? Because a guy hasn't replied to me in like 36 hours. So I'm trying to figure out whether I've officially been ghosted or not. Seriously? She even counted the exact hours when he last replied. 36 hours. Instead of messaging him to find out if he's okay, she's following the chick logic. Don't reply to him. Make him chase you. Stay within your feminine energy. If he wanted to, he would. Post a TikTok video and ask your followers what to do. What a joke. Just a quick question to anyone who's over 30. What are we supposed to be doing? Because I'm lost. You're supposed to be either happily married and having your second child or complaining on TikTok, wondering what you're supposed to be doing with your life over 30 like you are doing right now. Simple, really. Ladies, have you ever wondered why some men choose Wonder Bread women over you? And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when I'm right here? There are three reasons why this happens and I'm gonna tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. And even though some men might appreciate the way you look, they are gonna choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as much money or time to impress. Which brings me to reason number two, Wonder Bread will change herself for a man, a croissant will not, okay? Wonder Bread will become a grilled cheese, an avocado toast, a PB&J, any day of the week, depending on what he wants. A croissant, on the other hand, it's kind of like take it or leave it, as in you might not be as willing to compromise or change your lifestyle for a guy. And the third reason is Wonder Bread is less maintenance, okay? Wonder Bread, you break it apart, there are no crumbs with a croissant a lot of crumbs and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it but here's the thing the people that like croissants love croissants and they don't even look at wonder bread so don't try to change yourself but instead embrace all of your flaky french layers because the right person is gonna adore them wonder bread sounds like the perfect woman for the majority of men number one it's good that she's cheaper if i wanted to buy a woman i would hire an escort number two if i wanted an uptight rigid woman who doesn't want to appease me or compromise for me, I might as well become a simp who worships her and does everything that she wants. Number three, if I wanted to deal with a high maintenance woman, I would adopt a baby. Modern women need as much attention as a toddler who wets the bed every night. I don't want to have to deal with that. Is it bad that I like rough sex? Is it bad that I like rough seggies? I mean, don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed soft and slow and sensual and passionate. I've enjoyed that, but I love a bit of the hair pulling and the, what are ya? Some women just want to be dominated. It can come from the fact that some women are entitled and egotistical enough that they like to feel humbled in the bedroom some powerful men go through the same thing. They are so egotistical and at high job positions, everybody does whatever they say, so they resort to hiring escorts so they can be treated like dogs and walk around on a leash. I'm sure people have other motivations for why they want to be humbled in the bedroom. Submission.